Okay, good morning, everyone. So it is an honor and privilege to be part of Wellness Wednesday today and to speak about dynamism in time of pandemic. So just a quick outline of my presentation. So I'll just make a quick introduction, some definition, then discuss dynamism of an individual in, in a company and in a community. So we always see each other in Zoom in Culture Day. We always see each other also in the hotel lobby, in the nostalgia, in, in the different um, areas in the, in the vicinity of our offices. So I just want to share a few things about myself to everyone. So I'm Lori. I'm a wife and a mother of two. I'm also a student. I'm currently taking up master in hotel and restaurant and institution management in UP Diliman. I've always been a hotelier by profession, worked with hotels like Elsa Shangri-La, Manila Galleria Suites, Holiday Inn, Crown Plaza, Radisson Blue, Park Inn, Oakwood, and of course, our Joy Nostalgia. So let me ask you, what comes to your mind when you hear the word dynamism? A lot of people would incorporate dynamism with these words. Innovation, creativity, values, measures, needs, development, solution, customer, change. If we would use the Christ to definition of dynamism, Dynamism is our choice to be creatively successful, to achieve greatness, empowered with enterprising force and entrepreneurial spirit. So do we seek opportunities and display this mindset? Are we adaptable, creative, and committed to find solutions despite the limited resources? Do we operate effectively when faced with changing conditions and ambiguous situations? Dynamism is also defined as continuous change, activity, or progress. It's the quality of being energetic and vigorous. It's the great energy, um, drive, force, or power, or the vigor of the body, mind, and personality. If we would equate dynamism and success, these are my favorite illustrations, actually. It's like a magnet. It attracts success. It also powers success, and it propels success. For a dynamic person, the qualities, these are the 11 qualities that we could see. They're curious, passionate, actively face challenges. They're confident, open, willing to get away from their comfort zone. They're very optimistic. They enjoy the moment. They are spontaneous. They choose happiness, and they inspire others. So in the time of pandemic, when every one of us is really not prepared for this, so as an individual, these are the questions that I want to ask you all. How are you able to adjust? How are you able to use your creativity to find solutions in this situation? And how are you able to become a better you? So each one of us have a role to perform in our families. So we need to adapt to the situation, address the limitations and the challenges that we encounter. It's also the time for us to improve ourselves, to use our time wisely, to capitalize on opportunities and setbacks, to be able to inspire and motivate our, the people around us, our family, our friends, our neighbors. So, I'm sure most of you are faced with, you know, with this mental stress because of the pandemic, the lockdown, and everything, all the worries that we find, that we are in feeling in because of the COVID pandemic. So it's really nice to know that a lot of people have adjusted well by, by doing things that they love that could help them somehow adjust to the situation. I know most of you have become plantitas and plantitas, and some of you have tried their hand in the kitchen and have learned how to make ube pandesal, garlic buns, sushi bake. Or some of you have also developed hobbies like the cross stitching or painting. We have this painting by numbers that you could do at home. Or how many of you have unleashed the Marie Kondos in you? How many of you have you know, checked your items and, and asked yourselves, does this spark joy? Do I need to declutter? Do I need to dispose this? So this pandemic is also the perfect time for us to do decluttering, 
do some home improvements, um, invest in ourselves by doing yoga, and also physical fitness by exercising. But I think this also is a very important thing that we could consider. For those of you who have the hunger and thirst to learn and improve your knowledge, this pandemic is also the perfect time to really invest in yourselves and better your knowledge. If you have a laptop, if you have internet connection, and if you have the passion to learn, now is the time also to do online courses. There are so many available um, courses online that are free of charge. You can visit Coursera, Udemy, EDX, FutureLearn, OpenEdu, eTesda, even LinkedIn, to be able to enjoy these courses that could really help you maximize your time and prepare you better for future um, bigger responsibilities. Imagine you at the comforts of your home, you can get courses from these very good universities, Harvard, University of Michigan, Berkeley, Stanford, even Yale. So that's something that I hope um, most of you could consider because these courses would cover different fields, may it be financial, sales, technical, management courses. So these are all available. You just have to find the time to do this. Now, venturing now into the dynamism in a company. Same questions I would like to ask all of you. How are you able to adjust? How are you able to use your creativity? How are you able to find solutions? And how are you able to help your company? In a study that I found about COVID-19 pandemic and the, uh, the consumer and employee organization, these are some information that I found very interesting that I would want to share to all of you. So COVID-19 has impacted the consumer's mental health and well-being. Consumers are now more mindful of safety and taking care of their health more than ever. Many of the consumers prefer voluntary simplicity. And 76% of the consumers stated that they want to spend their money wisely. And consumers now are also increasing more, uh, they're, they're more inclined now to work with companies and brands that are eco-friendly, sustainable, and exhibit more responsible behavior towards the well-being of the society at large. So with this in mind, companies should pivot and really adjust customer management. So coming from my field of sales, so in terms of, of customer management, so these are some of the things that can be done because of the pandemic to be able to adjust to the situation. Um, number one is really client communication. It has to be maintained. We have to uh, be the business continuity support of our partner clients. We have to look into our marketing mix. We have to find new ways of selling. And we also have to adjust the current offerings. So just to dive, uh, dig deeper now in terms of the Joy Nostalgia Hotel and Suites Manila. With this in mind, we've also taken into consideration the need to really increase the confidence of our clients to stay with us because of safety. So we have really um, um, worked on getting all the safety certifications from Accor, from the World Travel and Tourism Council, from the Department of Tourism. And now we're also waiting for the DOT to give us the certificate to operate as a multiple use hotel because we want to cater more to a bigger market. We want to, to be able to accommodate the quarantine guests and also the non-quarantine guests in the hotel. And the hotel has adjusted and um, the procedures and the policies in terms of the guest arrival, the check-in experience, in the public areas, in the guest rooms, even in our food and beverage outlet, and even the staff health and safety. So these are all guided, anchored towards all the mandates released by the IATF, the DOT, and the Bureau of Quarantine. Um, we also, uh, as mentioned, we have to also amend our offerings to be able to adjust to the needs of the customers. So in the hotel, we have created different packages to offer to the different needs of our guests. We've created the Bayanihan package 
this is um, the full board package in preparation for the quarantine guests that we can accommodate once we have the certification. For those who are cost conscious and would want to spend you know, their money um, carefully, we've created a sweet and simple no frills kind of package as well. We've created staycation packages. And as we adjusted to whatever the government would tell us, we've had packages that included the antigen test, We've had packages that would include the food and beverage credit when the antigen was no longer required. We also thought of um, different ways of selling. Like we've had this um, staycation sale, an online sale that is ongoing right now until October 15, wherein we partnered with the Hotel Sales and Marketing Association to be able to sell to the local market so that when traveling is already allowed, staycation um, bookings are already allowed, they can use the vouchers in the hotel. So to date, we have sold around 122,000 worth of vouchers in this initiative. Other packages were also thought of, like in terms of office package for those who would want to have um, to hold office in the hotel, intimate celebrations, even wedding preparations. And then for the food and beverage, a lot of um, packages were also released and menu re-engineering were done to be able to adjust to the current needs of the, of the people. Since dine-in is not, is not allowed in, in most um, quarantine um, status, so delivery is um, take-out were really developed for in this purpose, even the take-out, the sensational spreads in the roof. So different um, packages were, were designed to address this. In terms of dynamism in the company um, and, and in the ask, from the point of view of the employees, we're also very lucky that a lot of companies like ours really um, put so much time, effort, and investment in ensuring the safety of the employees. So we have, um, we have people who are really looking into educating our employees into what they should do to be able to uh, what is acceptable and what is um, advisable during this time of pandemic. And we're also lucky that there are companies that provide shuttle services, accommodations for employees, um, very flexible work arrangements that are really um, beneficial for the employees. Again, um, sharing with you what we have in Joy Nostalgia, we also have flexible work arrangements, accommodations for our employees who need to be in-house. We also provide the PPEs, antigen testing, and we're also very lucky to be part of a company that really um, worked on the vaccination, that we are 100% vaccinated already. And trainings and Zoom assemblies were also designed to, to be able to still have the connection with the employees. And um, for this also, um, I just wanna share that in the hotel, we have this Hearties Marketplace it's a vibrant group or platform where employees can sell and buy items, donate um, books, stuff, toy that could still be used by colleagues in the hotel. So you can find, you know, a bottled um, sardines, um, some um, books, some face masks, um, some shoes, medicines that could really be beneficial for our employees. So now um, moving on to a bigger bubble in terms of dynamism in a community. So again, same questions I would like to throw to you. So how are you also able to adjust, use your creativity, find solutions, and be a better member of the community in this time of pandemic? Um, remember that we are part of a bigger bubble, bigger bubble than our families, than our office colleagues. We're really part of a bigger community. So these are some of the ways that we can help others in the community that may be hit hardest by the COVID-19 pandemic. So number one is really to follow your mask policy, adhere to travel restrictions, protect unvaccinated family members, help our local food pantries. Diba, we see a lot of the Maginhawa uh, pantry that, was, that really inspired a lot of communities to follow the same thing. So it's also good to be able to help on that. Check on neighbors and family members. 
support local businesses, schools, and child care centers. Now is the time to help the small entrepreneurs who are um, selling food items for delivery to be able to help them also cope economically in this pandemic. We could also provide support to frontline health workers and to donate blood when needed, assist in local fundraising efforts, stay informed and stay calm, be prepared, and take care of yourself and others. So as you can see, a lot of the things here are also based on your what you can do as a person, as an individual, to be able to help the bigger community. So these are some of the things that I mentioned. So donation to the local government unit. There was a time we donated to the uh, Barangay San Antonio, some clothing, some canned goods, and then the pantries that I was mentioning, the business from home food deliveries, and of course the vaccinations. So lastly, um, with the pandemic, we have seen how the people have suffered because of the unprecedented situation. So with, with this in mind, um, I think we should all be responsible Filipino citizens that we should register and vote because this would really affect um, the leaders that we would have in the future because they would be the ones who would be helping the community in terms of coping with whatever um, challenges we would be facing in the future, may it be a pandemic or otherwise. So with that, I just want to end my short presentation with this um, saying from Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. He is a humanitarian, spiritual leader, and ambassador of peace. Patience in the mind and dynamism in action is the right formula. So thank you so much and good morning to everyone. Wow. Thank you, Ms. Laurie, for your very insightful talk. Uh, you know, when, when I hear the word dynamism or when I read the word dynamism in our manifesto, what comes to mind is simply, you know, being creative, finding opportunity in the realm of business. But when you, uh, but when you now connect dynamism to the self, to the to your work and to the bigger community, it sees uh, it. It makes us see how far this value can go. So mm-hmm. I was able to relate with you when you said, "Oh, many of us learned how to cook, became <sighs> itos." Yes, lahat po yun check. Although I have to admit, my plants did not survive, so I resorted to fake plants. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it too late? <laughs> yes, yes. So you can not- try again. <laughs> I know. I can try again. I don't have a green thumb, but at least the fake plants uh, beautified the house with less effort. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, and yes, no, I'm also amazed by the efforts the hotel has been doing to to cope and to survive and thrive given this uh, given the situation we have. And more than that, we can also be dynamic towards other people, especially those who are more in need than us beyond joy nostalgia. So thank you for that very for that very uh, wide-reaching talk on dynamism, Ms. Laurie. Thank you so much. And it's very timely given uh, what we're going through right now. And to give us their perspective and comments or perhaps questions, we have with us two panelists. The first is a recruitment management officer from the resource management unit, Ms. Chrisley Bulatao. Hi, Chrisley. Good morning and welcome. Hi, hi, brother Jolo. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me <laughs> to be a panelist today. So, um, good morning, po, Miss Laurie. Um, I enjoyed your um, kahit na very short yung talk. It was very insightful indeed. Na um, you were able to um discuss hindi lang yung sa work um kundi na discuss nyo rin yung sa um, sales mismo, na-connect nyo rin po sa mismo profession nyo. So, <laughs> ang galing lang din po. And um, gaya ng sabi ni Sir Jello, um na-appreciate ko din yung nag-enumerate kayo or nag-mention uh, kayo ng mga things na ginagawa ng mga tao to, uh, to be able to adjust from hobbies hanggang sa education. So, parang medyo napaisip ako doon na parang siguro nga kailangan ko rin tagtagan yung um, knowledge ko. Ganun na parang it's not yet too late. And na-amaze nga ako na until now po or kayo po is nag-study din po ulit kayo. Yeah. So, na-amaze po ako. So, parang ayan na, medyo isip-isip. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Kasi baka may mga nakikinig po sa atin, may mga nanonood po sa inyo na um, napapaisip din kung or medyo 
hindi masyadong nakakapag-adjust ng maayos because of the pandemic. Um, Siyempre, iba-iba po kasi tayo ng ways ng pag-cope. Baka nagkaroon na sila ng idea ngayon. And then, um, I agree din po na yun nga po, parang we as individuals din ini-ensure din natin yung safety ng mga taong nakapaligid natin special, sa atin, especially yung mga families natin, our friends, and um the people na we meet every day, lalo pagka nag-report sa office. And we um we are also parang able to help others pa rin despite na nagkakaroon tayo ng problems ourselves na during this um trying um times talaga and um pinaka na appreciate ko din is na singit din po natin yung registration and then to vote also kasi um eto ma share ko lang po first time ko po na nagpa-register sa Comelec i am 26 years old and first time ko po nagpa-register so pag may nakikinig po na hindi pa po registered please register na po kasi may pag-asa pa po ang Pilipinas <laughs> next year na po ang election so um kailangan po nating piliin ng maayos yung magiging um leaders natin and then um wag nating sabihin kasi yung mindset ko po dati is ala isang vote lang naman busy ako okay. kaya na nila yan parang ganon okay. parang feeling wala lang walang magbabago eh walang magiging improvement <laughs> Pero dahil siguro sa na-experience din natin this past few years na parang it's very difficult yung na-experience natin. Pero um, may naitulong din po kasi kumbaga ayon we are able to adapt sa change. Mas naging creative tayo na uh, hindi. Mas naging um, hopeful tayo kumbaga gano'n mm-hmm. na um, kaya pa natin. Kaya pa natin mm-hmm. and then um pati po yung mga sinishare ni Mr. Nang sa um JNG community nagche-share sa tungkol sa election ganyan tungkol sa mm-hmm. kung sino ba yung mga paano mo ba pipiliin yung mga i-vote mo so um mm-hmm. mapapaisip ka rin talaga hindi lang para sa safety mo para sa future mo kundi para sa mm-hmm. future ng buong bansa so um thank you po sa talk mm-hmm. niyo Miss Lori <laughs> You're welcome, Chris Lee. So, oh yeah, uh, just Jella, just to um comment on her um her her discussion. It's really not too late for you to start improving yourself. You know, enrolling, especially right now, na online naman lahat. Imagine before, there's the challenge of commuting to the school. Imagine the traffic, the time component. But now that everything's online, it's really on your hands. So it's really a matter of having the the drive and the desire to push through and pursue it. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Miss Laurie and Miss Chris Lee. You know, same here. Number one, I'm very much uh, inspired to study again. It's been quite some years, no? And uh, kung si Miss Laurie nga nasa UP nga yun, nag-aaral, di ba? Shucks, was, parang I better start like, learning more, di ba? Go to school again. So, Thank you for that. And yes, thank you, Ms. Chrisley, for stressing also how dynamism can be applied in being active in uh, in nation building, choosing the right leaders, di ba? Yan. Alam mo na, ang dami na tumatakbo ngayon, patay yung champion. <laughs> okay. So thank you, Chrisley. And our next panelist is Mr. Christian De Castro. He is a project officer from the Foundation Development Unit, or better known as the Jonas Dodge Foundation. Hi, Christian. Good morning. Hello, Sir Jello. Uh, good morning, Ma'am Laurie. Um, ayun, no? Nag- sobrang nagustuhan ko po yung talk nyo kasi uh, it's, it's nice to know about the um, innovations na ginagawa po ng Jonas Dodge Company ngayong pandemic. Hindi lang sa workplace, pati na po dun sa hotel mismo. Kasi uh, some of the innovation, aware kami, pero yung sa iba hindi. Yung iba ngayon lang namin narinig na ginagawa pala ng uh, Join Us Touch. Um, siguro ang tanong ko na lang po, um, sa employee level naman po, kasi gagaya nga po na nasabi ni, ni Sir Jello, kapag naririnig natin yung salitang dynamism, laging ka dikit na yung innovation, creativity. Siguro ang tanong ko na lang po, sa employee level naman, Ano po kaya yung advice na mabibigay ninyo para dun sa mga employee na um, gustong maging creative, gustong uh, maging innovative, pero I don't know if you will agree, no? pero 
ang pagiging innovative, uh, meron siyang kaakibat na risk. Mm. Ganun. Ano po kaya yung magiging uh, advice ninyo para dun sa amin or sa ibang employees na gustong maging innovative, uh-huh. gustong maging creative, pero natatakot dun sa mga kaakibat na risks? Uh-huh. Yan po. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Thank you, Christian. Actually, you're right. Innovation is really something na may kaakibat na risk. But at the end of the day, um, you just have the mindset na for you to be able to make a change and make a difference, you have to um, be brave enough to, to step forward and share what you have in mind. It may be an idea that can still be, that can be applied right away. It can be an idea naman that can be somehow um, amended or refined to make it work. But the important thing is you're able to, to put forward and share what you have in mind. Because at the end of the day, you would also think, I, what if I suggested this? It could have made this difference. Kumbaga, to, ha- to remove that um, that um, that uh, possibility that you would have those regrets. Now, what if, what if, what if? It would be better to step forward, be brave to share because wala, hindi naman krimen na mag-suggest, di ba? Kumbaga, it's, it's always something that is welcome, that should be welcomed, actually, because it's something that could change whatever the result that we want now, if it's not something that we want, it could be something that could be a tool to achieve what we want to achieve in, at the end of the day. So just be you know, just be brave and share those ideas. And um, I'm sure that your superiors would be there to support you naman in terms of how to address that, how to make it work, and how to make um, a difference using those innovative, innovative ideas. All right. Thank you po, ma'am. Very well said po. Thank you po. Thanks, Christian. And thank you, Miss Laurie. You know, I like that. Uh, I know that, you know, making uh, making risks can be quite scary. But if we view everything yes. as a learning uh, learning moment or opportunity, mm-hmm. it makes everything less intimidating. Mm-hmm. You can try and try. And if things don't go your way, at least now you know what yes, okay. how to do things, diba? Right? Uh-huh. So thank you for that, Miss Laurie. And I think that advice goes for many of the young employees here in the company. Right? Mm-hmm. Many who are still learning, finding their way. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid mm-hmm. to try something new. Because, yes. every, because uh, we learn from every experience here in the company. Correct. Thank correct. You, and Miss Laurie. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, before we end our program, would you have anything else to say to our audience, especially to the young people here who mm-hmm. who 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 may, you know, who may find themselves quite paralyzed or, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uncertain about what's happening mm-hmm. and are called to still be dynamic. What can be your part yes. for the young people here? Well, I guess I just want to um, share to everyone that in everything that happens in our lives, there's always a reason for that. And it's really a choice for us to look at it on a more positive angle to make it um, a learning experience if it's something bad, as Jello mentioned, because it's how we grow. It's how we are able to, to achieve more, to learn from those mistakes, from those experiences. And um, to everyone there also, this pandemic is, um, is here, but this will not be forever. So let's just be hopeful and do our parts to be able to, to have a better future for everyone and for our children, you know. Yeah, that's it, Jello. Thank you so much, Miss Lori. Uh, thank you, Chris Lee. Thank you, Christian. I may be just a facilitator here, but I can tell you I learned so much today, this morning, and, and I'm for sure and dami kong baon uh, for the days ahead. So thank you, uh, Chris Lee, Christian. And once again, thank you so much, Miss Lori. We're so happy to have you with us this morning. And so that brings an end to our Wellness Wednesday. Uh, everyone, I posted the attendance sheet in the chat box. There you go. So please find time to fill it up. And I'll see you all again soon. Take care, take care everyone. Stay safe and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.